This is the new Toyota Urban Cruiser Tizer and in case it looks familiar, that's because it's Toyota's version of the Maruti Suzuki Franks. It's the fifth shared model from the Toyota and Suzuki partnership in India. But let's zoom in and talk specifically of this Tizer. In terms of look, the Tizer has that same broad-shouldered stance that we really like about the Franks. But there are some details that make the Toyota a bit different in look. Up front, the Tizer gets a slightly redone grille with a different mesh and the bumper has been restyled too, but you'll really need to look for the changes. The main headlights lower down are unchanged from the Franks, but the LED DRLs on top now get this twin line signature, which is different to the three dot signature that you get on the Franks. At the sides, there's plastic cladding around the wheels. You get these roof rails and they all really add to the look. But what distinguishes the Toyota from the Franks is this different set of alloy wheels, which are attractive in their own right. At the rear, the taillight internals have been redone, but these are details that you could miss. But like top-end versions of the Franks, the Taiza also gets this full-width LED light bar and it looks really, really good. In fact, the best angle of the Taiza to me is the tail end. Boot space remains unchanged at 308 litres and you also have the option to split and fold the rear seat backrest to free up more space. But just as on the Franks, the loading lip is very high, which means putting in heavier luggage will be quite a pain. The Tizer is available in six body paint options, including this very eye-catching orange. And there's the option of a contrast roof as well. It's inside that the Tizer feels almost identical to a Franks. It's got the same layered dashboard and even the same brown on black color theme. The dashboard is attractive and on top spec versions, it comes with a 9-inch touchscreen. Lower spec models get a 7-inch touchscreen. The feature list is actually pretty long. You get a wireless phone charger, you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with wireless connectivity. There's a 360-degree camera, which is handy, but not really the highest in resolution. And there's also a head-up display screen that pops up behind the dials. But you don't get a sunroof. Here's a quick look at all that you get on the Tizer. In terms of safety, dual airbags and ABS are standard, with top spec versions solely offered on the turbo, available with six airbags. Like the Franks, the Tizer hasn't been crash tested by Global NCAP or Bharat NCAP as yet. Material quality is good, but it's not great. There are some nice gloss finishes on the dashboard, but they also share space with many hard plastics. The Tizer's front seats are large and supportive, and what aids comfort is that they're very nice and softly cushioned. Now talking of space at the back, I'm just under 6 feet tall, the front seat is set to my driving position and I have a lot of knee room, but headroom is in short supply for someone of my size. However, average sized adults will be really comfortable at the back and a third passenger will be an easy fit too. Talking of amenities that you get at the back, you get rear air conditioning vents, there are two charging ports. Each of the three seats get adjustable headrests as well as three-point seat belts. But what is missed is a rear center armrest. The engines are shared with the Prong, so you get a four-cylinder, 1.2-liter, naturally aspirated petrol engine that makes 90 horsepower. Now, this engine can be had with a five-speed manual gearbox and a five-speed AMT, and you also get the option of a CNG derivative of this. The other engine of interest is a one-liter, three-cylinder turbo petrol engine. Now, it is essentially Suzuki's booster jet unit, but it is also Toyota's first turbo petrol engine in India. This engine makes 100 horsepower and can be had with a five-speed manual or a six-speed speed torque converter automatic with paddle shifters. Prices for the Tizer start at 7.74 lakh rupees and top off at 13.04 lakh rupees ex showroom. Let's see the price list in a bit more detail. The Tizer 1.2 litre is available in three trims, namely E, S and S+, while the higher spec G and V trims are reserved only for the 1 litre Tizers. The fully loaded V versions can also be had with a contrast roof for an additional 16,000 rupees. Notably, the 1.2 litre variants are about 20,000 rupees pricier than their Franks equivalents. However, the turbo versions of both models are priced at par. In fact, Toyota insiders have confirmed a greater push for the turbo versions of the Tizer, whose par and torque characteristics are more in line with the model's entry SUV positioning. 
Also, something that could swing buyers towards the Toyota is its longer standard warranty of 3 years or 1 lakh kilometers versus the Francis 2 year 40,000 kilometer package. So that's the first set of details on the all-new Toyota Urban Cruiser Taiza. What do you think of the way it looks and would you have one over a Franks? Let us know in the comment section below and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the Autoka India channel and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we have a new video up.